Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around is for the 14.5 ounce three wick pistachio and toasted vanilla candle from Bath and Body Works. This is one of the later priority candles for Candle Day, but it is available online now for full price. But I would imagine there would be another candle sale soon, so you can probably pick it up then if you couldn't find it during Candle Day. So the notes on this read, salted pistachios, toasted vanilla, and almonds. It says it smells like a warm, sweet, savory holiday nut tray. Uh, yeah, so this is actually surprisingly delicious. I've been so enjoying this. It's actually like probably my favorite candle from Candle Day, to believe, believe it or not. And I'm not even really uh, normally a fan of like the pistachio almond fragrances, but there's something so cozy and scrumptious and delicious about this that I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so first off, I believe to my nose it is not a repackage of pistachio ice cream. That was much heavier on like this perfumey sandalwood note. It's just much more heavy and cloying, and there's definitely more of a like a creamy heaviness to that fragrance. Whereas this one's a little bit more dry, a little bit more crumbly, and a little bit more like cozy, and I would say overall a little bit more bakery than pistachio ice cream is. So I do believe it's not the same fragrance as the pistachio ice cream, uh, but I actually prefer this one much more. Uh, but it does have quite a bit of a similarity to the White Bar Number no. 1 Nutmeg and Spice in the sense that that was also like this cozy, nutty, like nutmeg and slightly like kitchen spice blend topped like almonds or pecans type of fragrance was in white bar number one a uh, very cozy fragrance and this one is actually quite similar to that i don't think they're the same fragrance but if you enjoyed that one uh this is similar to that but this one probably has a little bit more of a nutty presence to it than the white bar number one did but a similar like cozy spice blend from that is definitely in here as well and i believe that fragrance white bar number one was also repackaged as pumpkin spice in the white barn court orange jar at one point. Uh, so just putting that out there. So if you haven't smelled that, then what does this smell like? Well, predominantly, you definitely get the pistachio and the almond in there. It's quite warm and nutty. It's very similar to all their other pistachio and almond fragrances. So if you're familiar with the nuttiness of that, I think you'll enjoy this as well. Uh, it is salted a little bit. And then with that saltiness is mixed in with a little bit of like a kitchen spice blend that recalls the sort of nutmeg and spice blend that we got in white bar number one. Uh, definitely like a sort of like a nutmeg cozy blend is in there. Possibly like a trace of like a cinnamon sugar that recalls like cinnamon sugar top pistachio or almond is in there as well. It's not overly spicy, but it's more like that sort of cozy kitchen spice blend is mixed in there with the pistachio and almond. Uh, and then like this uh, warm, creamy, sweet vanilla, it sort of ties it together. There is a slight bit of a sandalwood perfumey, sandalwood perfumey undertone to this fragrance, but it's probably the least perfumey of all of the almond pistachio fragrances that we've had before. So I think that's why I probably prefer it because I just kind of want a warm, cozy, more gourmand bakery pistachio almond fragrance rather than something that's like overly sandalwood and perfumey and heavy. So I would say in comparison, like Almond Blossom is the most like sort of grody, sandalwood, super heavy, perfumey one of all of them. Pistachio Ice Cream has a little bit of perfuminess, but not as perfumey as Almond Blossom. But that one also still has like this sort of like heavy, creamy, cloying, perfuminess to it as well. And then this one probably has the least amount of that sort of like just cloying, perfumey sandalwood action. There's a little bit of sandalwood for whatever reason. They always pair sandalwood with their pistachio and almond. And it gives a little bit of depth to this fragrance, but it's the least sandalwood perfumey of all the ones that we've kind of like talked about before. So that's how this uh, fragrance smells and compares to all the other ones. Uh, there's been a few comparisons about it being similar to the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which also lists notes of pistachio, salted caramel, and vanilla. Vanilla, and then the perfume version of that also lists pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And those notes kind of really do line up exactly with what you're smelling here. I thought that, that the Bum Bum Cream fragrance was a little bit more richer and heavier than this is. I feel like this one's a little bit more cozy bakery and gourmand than that is. But I can't say if I've actually used the Bum Bum Cream uh, product. So I'm not at all intimate that, with that fragrance. But I could see the similarities for sure because the notes are like really on point with, I guess, what you're kind of smelling here as well. I mean, that salted caramel presence could be very much linked to that super overly sweet, like, uh, like creamy vanilla. That's also in here as well. Uh, so yeah, I could see the comparisons there, but I can't confirm or deny that just because I'm not really intimate with that fragrance. But otherwise, just super awesome, scrumptious, delicious fragrance. If you want something cozy, uh, toasty, like a very awesome kitchen spice blend in there with that pistachio and almond with a little bit of that like nice vanilla, definitely check this out. I'm like loving this so much more than I thought I would. I actually bought two of them. So if that tells you something. Uh, yeah, so I do have to say it seems more like a fall fragrance to be completely honest fall into winter and it does say it's supposed to be a holiday nut tray so I guess that kind of goes in line with that but I feel like this is more like a 
like a early spring packaged fragrance, but perhaps it isn't. But whatever, I just wanted to throw that out there. But also the Bum Bum Cream fragrance is marketed as a sunny beachy scent. So it just goes to show you if scents can be marketed for any season or any like time frame or holiday. And it is just, it is what it is. So let me go into performance right now. This is a fourth day burn and oh my God, this, the downside on this is the just massive sooting on this candle. It burns so hot and vicious. I just can't even, uh, this has probably like the largest size of those core wicks that they use. And like for a core wick, this is super thick and just like massive. Uh, and it makes huge mushroom tops if you don't trim diligently. Uh, and I, like just the first burn on this, it made ma massive mushroom tops and you can see just the, so just absolutely billowing off of this candle. It's insane. Uh, it's too bad because like this fragrance is so scrumptious that I never get tired of it that I just want to burn it for hours and hours on end, but you can't because it just soots so bad and mushrooms a lot. Uh, so on this latest burn, I was like, you know what? I just know this is going to be a soot monster. So let me just trim it to absolute tiny little nubs. And despite doing to tiny little nubs, three hours later, we are presented with this where there's still mushroom tops on it, although the smallest that they've been, but just still crazy so sooting and just, you know, a wax pull in no time. So super hot, super sooty burn. Like even, even, trimming it to tiny little nubs it still does this and I fear if I trim it even more on the next burn usually mid-range is when it does that dud out action where it starts getting like dark grody and murky it hasn't done it here and we're like into the halfway point but I just fear that's going to happen if I trim it too generously so just one of those hard candles to balance I uh, just trim, trim them as much as you can and then just don't have a draft or any kind of like you know wind movement in the area to minimize any kind of soot and obviously blow it out after like two to three hours max as for the throw just cozy scrumptious delicious throw I love it I would say maybe like a six and a half in an open concept area and all the way up to like a seven and a half uh in a bedroom can smell it no problem no issues warm and cozy just envelops the room in this beautiful fragrance even goes into the hallway too is just it's just excellent so yeah Overall, probably my favorite pistachio variation or almond variation of a fragrance they've done from BBW. Super cozy, warm, awesome, scrumptious. Just, it's excellent. It has like a very cozy bakery vibe to it uh, that I think is just like perfect for the fall and winter time. But because it is like pistachio and toasted vanilla and it has like a, I guess, universal appeal to it, you could get away with burning this into the spring because they do do their pistachio fragrances in the springtime as well. So yeah, if you liked any of what I said, check it out. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.